What's up, you guys? How you doing? Hey, guys. Welcome back to uh, Dancing at Home with us. Time to swing. swing. Today, we're going to be doing Charleston, Partnered, and Soloed. So we know that the issue that everyone is facing right now is that you're supposed to be either be six feet apart or not social dancing at all, or maybe you don't have a partner at home. Um, so we're going to be showing you things that you can do in Partnered, side-by-side -side Charleston, but then also things that these will be for your solo jazz that you can try by yourself. Um, I know this is a really um, interesting situation that we're in right now, and something that I found kind of funny was something else, someone on Facebook said that uh, practicing your solo jazz is like eating your vegetables. So not a lot of people like to practice their solo jazz, um, but your vegetables are good for you, and so is solo jazz. It will only enhance your dancing and help you become a better dancer. Um, so we're going to do that. You're going to eat your vegetables today. Okay. We're going to start with basic side-by-side -side Charleston. We'll go over that and then through our variations. Looks, looks a little something like this. Five, six, seven, and a one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three. A five, six, seven, eight. All right, from the back. Five, six, seven, a one, two, three. A five, six, seven, and a rock step, kick, kick, and a kick step. Boom. All right, so two ways of counting it out or thinking about it. Everybody learns differently, so you can either count it out or you can talk it through. Talk it through with your rock step, kick step, kick, and a kick step, mm -hmm. or go with your counts. Whichever you are, a numbers person or um, a verbal person. Whatever it's gonna be, keep that mantra. Especially if this is new for you, keeping that mantra, one, two, three, and four, or rock step, kick step, kick, and a kick step, it's gonna help you advance much faster because you'll understand the basics of the move and how to change the variations because that mantra should always stay in your head. Sometimes counts are easier, sometimes scatting, sometimes words are easier. So uh, whatever is comfortable for you. So your basic side-by-side -side Charleston, uh, if you're with a partner, we're gonna do both together and apart. So if you're with a partner here, uh, leads your right hand in across the back, have a nice um, grip, good tension, but you're not clenching, you're not holding on, right? Just nice tension and then follows your seated back, so you're creating a little bit of a sit, boom, and you're able to feel the connection with your partner. All right, and then I got my left hand here, it's gonna be placed on my, uh, it could be placed in the back here, um, or on my partner's shoulder if there's a height difference, um, bicep, I do not want to be any shorter, so I'm right here. <laughs> We're gonna start with your rock step. Right leg. Left leg for leads. Left leg for leads, right? So it goes rock, step, Kick, step. All right, that's your one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Plant that leg. Now you're going to bring the inside leg for kick and a kick down. So this gets two kicks. One more time with that inside leg, you go kick and a kick down. With numbers? Counts. We go a five, six, seven, eight. All right, so if you put those two together, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, kick, step, kick, and a kick, step. Rock, step, kick, step, kick, and a kick, step. One more time, from the back. With counts first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, kick, step, kick, and a kick, step. Rock, step, kick, step, kick, and a kick, step. Ooh, that put my foot down early on that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so those are your two ways of thinking uh, thinking about it for um, the counts or for your verbal cues. By yourself, right? So you're apart. We're, we can't be six feet apart because of the... Camera. Camera. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> by yourself, you practice this. Five, six, seven. A one, two, three, five, seven. Get your arms involved. Five, like you're walking. One, two, three, five, seven, or a rock step, kick step, kick, and a kick step. Rock step, kick step, kick, and a kick step. Can you tell who likes numbers and who likes verbal cues here? <laughs> I'm just kidding. The other thing 
if you are doing it apart, uh, practice it on the opposite leg. So, uh, if you guys know Tan Charleston, the follow takes over on, not takes over, but the follow does the lead footwork. Now, when it comes to solo jazz, you can start with on every foot you want. Mm -hmm. So, if you are getting comfortable with this, I'll part from each other. We'll try it with Lee's doing the follow footwork while I was doing Lee's footwork. Yeah. Again, with count. This is good for your left brain and right brain. It's always good to know um, both parts. Exercise. Your brain is a muscle. Yeah. Five, six, seven, and one, three, five, seven, and rock, step, kick, step, kick, and a kick. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Whoa, what happened? I did follow footwork. Sorry. <laughs> Let's do uh, leads. Sorry, I want to do leads. See what happens and right back into it. I want to do leads. He's going to do follow. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, seven, one, three, five, seven, step, kick, kick, and kick. All right, make sure that you have a nice bounce and pulse. As you go through your Charleston, everything has a pulse, pulse, a pulse, 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 a pulse, 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 a pulse, pulse, pulse. Beautiful. Um, so you are grounded. Pulse is going into the ground. Boom, boom, boom. A boom, boom, boom. Not a, 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 a. Right, we want to get okay, way more tired. Well, besides that, it's a different look. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of running man. Um, you want down. Charleston has that bounce, even uh, if you're not um, traveling with it, still has that bounce, a bounce, a bounce. My stabilizing leg has that bounce, a bounce, a bounce. Switch, bounce, a bounce, a bounce, a bounce. Good exercise If to this practice. is new for you, what we also do for beginners is you can do um, groove walks. So as a lead on the left leg, you would do rock step, groove walk, Groove, walk, groove, walk, rock, step. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, I don't count that right. But you see, uh, <laughs> verbal um, numbers. <laughs> Start that again. Five, Bounce. six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. And surprisingly, I'm horrible at math. Math was never my strong suit in school. <laughs> one, two, English three, was. four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Three. A five and seven. So you can tap, you can take your a tap step, tap, a tap step, rock step, if you don't feel comfortable kicking. Okay. All right, and then we have um, our variations. So we're going to dip into uh, tap, a little bit of tap dancing mm -hmm. here. Fun. We, um, we don't have a whole lot of experience with tap, but of course, um, worlds collide and the, we get a lot of jazz has tap. Well, I mean, a lot of the swing moves come from the Shim Sham is a, is a tap. Originally a tap. A, a tap yeah. routine. So, um, as you know, as a swing dancer, a lot of these things start to cross and mesh. So, we're going to be doing um, shuffles or brushes. Yeah, brushes or... Well, I don't think these can collapse. Maybe they're considered collapse, but I'm going to call them brushes. I'm going to call them brushes because I don't want to get too... Or dusting on the floor. I don't want to get too into the... Technical term of tap because we are not tap teachers. <laughs> so we're just going to be doing our brushes and we're going to implement them into our Charleston. So our first variation is going to be a shuffle, step, stomp off into, our, into our Charleston. Yes, we do these apart. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Brush, brush, step, stomp off. One. Now let's do that again. Five, six, Seven and a one, two, three, four. Brush, brush, step, stop off. One, two, three, a five, six, seven, eight. And you can go back into your basic Charleston. Do that. Uh, get your search. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, a five, six, step, stop off. One, two, three, a five, six, step, stop off. One. Good. Still uh, fits into your eight count timing of Charleston. So how do you do it? You have your rock step and kick step is still your first um, base half first half of your basic. So we have a rock step, kick step. You're gonna take that inside leg. You're gonna scuff back. So you have a 
brush, scratch. So brush forward, brush back. You're gonna put your weight is still on that opposite leg. You're using a toe. So you got your toe here, and then you're gonna go stomp off into an eight. Stomp off is originally a jazz step. Yeah, you got your solo stomp off. I don't, I don't know about originally. Um, still used in tap quite a bit. Again, we're not tap teachers, no, so <laughs> yeah. okay. um, it's used a lot in Lindy, a lot in Lindy. Frankie Manning loves the stomp off all the time. So um, a lot of it's a great move to use. Put it into your Charleston now. So again, you have a rock step, kick step, brush, brush, step off into your head eight. So if you're doing follows footwork, this is my left leg, and you're going left, left, put your weight on your left. For the stomp off, you're going to go towards your right, right, left. Then I'm going to put my weight down all on my left to go rock. We do the opposite, right leg is up. We're doing the brush, brush, forward, and then back. Brush, brush, put your toe down, and then we're gonna use the weight on, of the toe to pick up the left leg and stop off. Stop off, yeah. From the back, you have one, two, three, four, brush, brush, step, and off. It's your rock step, which is perfect because it's still eight count. So again, brush, brush, your weight is not here. Your weight is still on the opposite leg. Your toe is there. Your heel is off the ground. You're going to pick from that. You're going to, you're going to lift with that toe to go stomp off. For and a quick millisecond, you have the left. <laughs> yeah. Boom, bam, rock, step. Okay, cool. All right, so that's your first variation with your brush brush. Uh, the second variation we're going to do is um, oh uh, your rond de jean, yes. Yes, you do. Okay, so uh, rond de jean, or you have this um, slide, slide, yeah, back. Okay, so it starts the same way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three. A five, six, seven, eight. A one. Again, lead and follow, we're just mirroring each other. So we're doing the exact same thing on different legs, obviously. So for lead, what we're doing is starts the same. One, two, three, four. And then the brush, 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 brush. And we're gonna jump onto that leg. So now the weight is gonna be on your right leg as a lead. And then when we jump onto it, our left leg is gonna come around. And then don't bring it together, just bring it around and then back into it for your rock step. So together, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, brush, brush, rock, step. Yeah. Uh, so you have a little bit of hold the rock step as you do your um, half circle out or your toe out. So try to keep your big toe connected to the ground for both mm -hmm. lead and follow as you do your slide around or rond de jean. Um, that is a technical term, I think, believe in jazz and um, possibly ballet. It's coming back a little bit when I was like six. <laughs> okay, so one more time. So as a follow, I'm going one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as I jump onto my left leg, seven, I'm gonna push out, seven, eight, rock, step. Okay, from behind, five, six, seven, and a rock, step, kick, a brush, brush, jump, and slide, rock, step. So this one feels really comfortable to kind of jump, as you jump into it, you're gonna lean into that leg. So don't stay straight up. You're gonna, you're gonna wanna be comfortable, bend your knees. So my torso is not collapsed, I'm not here, but I wanna be a little bit over my, my leg to support my weight into my slide. Good term that I used earlier uh, in a different video, um, but it's a term that both of us I've kind of learned the past few months is you want to stack your joints. You want to keep everything under it, under themselves so that if you're doing this, if your torso isn't over here, the legs over here and this leg's over here, it looks bad and it's going to start feeling bad on your joints. So you want to keep everything under yourself, grounded. So and if you've ever done, oh, I'm sorry, if you've ever done, when you do exercises or like lunges, 
uh, squats. When they tell you to squat, you have everything stacked. You're stacked with your shoulders, your knees, everything in line with your toes. And when you do lunges, it's the same thing. You have that 90 degree. You don't want to be over and you don't want to be back. So it's the same concept as far as here, stacked, rock step into your rock step. Yeah. Okay, our next one. Slide back. We have an eagle slide back. Yeah, five, six, seven, a one, two, three, a five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Again, yeah. five, six, seven, a one, two, three, a five, six, seven, eight, a one, two. From behind. If you listen to the count, there is a slight hold before you slide back. One more time, we'll go slow. Here we go. Three, and four, five, six, seven. If you just listen to it, right, we won't, we won't have to count. Yeah, this is the footwork. Cool, really neat. So you have that um, brush, brush. You're going to be scooting back on that outside leg, so don't put this leg down yet. So for follows, it's the left lead. I'm sorry, follows the right leads the left. Yeah, so I'm keeping my weight on my right, weight on the left. So we have that brush, brush. We bring it in, we scoot back, then we put that inside leg down, rock step from behind. You have rock step, kick step, brush, brush, push back, rock. Back into your rock step. So make sure that you're pushing. Um, some a nice exercise to try. Bring one knee up, push on the leg that's on the ground. Switch, push. This this is a stylistic and characteristic of the move. You want to push out, but it also helps you, and it, it kind of helps visualize if you're a visual person. Like, where am I going? Back. I'm gonna push away. So I want to be away from the wall. Yeah then you can try that. Running man, but backwards. <laughs> With some swing style, jazz style. Okay, so again, uh, last time. Five, six, seven, a one, two, three. Yeah, nice. All right, so we had um, your brush, brush, stop off. We had your rondage on, and then we have this eagle slide back. Mm -hmm. I think that's all of them that we have. Um, the kicks here. Oh, kicks! Two more, two more, yay! Almost forgot. Kicks. Okay. So, uh, here we go. Kick. The seated one, yes? Uh, so, the first thing we're going to do is going to be, we're going to go left, right for the fall, for the leads. Falls will be going right, left. Oh, so our bell. I think of this as like a bell. Yeah. Cling, uh, cling. Yeah. So we're going to do, we're going to do the bell. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Five, six, seven, a one, two, three, a ding dong, a rock step kick, a ding dong, a one, two, three, a five, six, seven, eight, a one. If you're with a partner, it may work out. It's pretty cool, but your shoes will click. Yeah, this is kind of like a cool heel click to do together. One, two, three, uh uh, uh. a one, two, three, uh uh. uh. Uh, you remember from the 90s when you guys are here this is coming back to TikTok <laughs> right now and you're here you, you click and then you guys go around kind of get that same vibe with this um, variation here but you can do this by yourself one two three in out down the rock step see there's a pulse when you put your foot down you have a count or you can leave some hang time so if i put my foot down one two three Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, seven, eight. I have to hold there. Or I can leave my foot. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. I can shoot it back for a kick, step, rock, step. However, you want to finish off that variation. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, a ding dong, a rock, step, kick, boom, boom, boom. So whichever you prefer, put your foot down or kick back. Just remember, set seven, eight is your hold. This is five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Cool. 
Let's see. That's it. Uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One more that we like to do. We do this quite often in our social dancing. Uh, we won't sit yet, though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just the move. Just the move. Sit. Yeah. Five, six, seven, a one, two, three, a five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, a five, six, seven, eight, a one. Three. All right, so just a little cross variation uh, on your Charleston kick. Drop, step, kick, step, kick, cross, kick, back. Then you put it down. Rock, step, kick, kick, cross, kick, back, rock, step. From behind with count. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. I don't think this one helps from behind so much. It's more in front because you can't see your feet. One more time. Five, six, seven, a one, two, three, a five, six, seven, eight, one. Alright, so you have the same starts the same. Kick step, kick, cross, kick, back. And then rock step. Yeah. Try it on both. Start with the right, start with the left, doesn't matter. Uh, just remember that inside leg is going to be the one doing kick, cross, kick, back, rock step. So, one of the very beginning exercises we did, boom, bada. In the video we showed earlier, I did one little different thing. I just remembered. So, it's a styling thing you can do as well. Is instead of doing ha, bada, or Stop off, we just do up. So it would be rock, step, kick, step, up, up, hop. It's a mix between the slide back and then just stepping up, jumping a little bit higher. It keeps that count of seven, eight, one, two. Yeah, play around with it. See what you come up with. See what you can fit into your Charleston basic. Um, the last thing that we're gonna do is our sit. We think it's funny. Maybe we won't. I think it is. <laughs> five, six, seven, a one, two, three, a five, six, six, no. All right, and that could be your ending move. Maybe you're putting together a solo jazz routine. And you're going to sit. Use it. <laughs> take it. So um, these things, again, can be done by yourself or with a partner. So in the beginning of the video, we showed you guys what it would look like partnering. So if we just do some Charleston, two, three, Five, six, seven. Because it can be done by itself, nothing is left. She can do whatever she wants while I keep the basic. Everything is eight count timing. And then I can do whatever I want. So it looks cool because both of you are doing totally different things, but still on the same footwork, the same timing. Which is great. Once you get back to social dancing, oh yeah, sorry. Once you get back to social dancing with a partner, try these things when you guys do uh, side by side Charleston. No partner right now, no problem. Try these things by yourself. Implement them to into your social dancing um, routines. Yeah. Surprise your ra a random dance partner. You know, a month from now, a couple weeks from now, whenever this is over right. with, and you grab, you know, ask for someone to dance, lead or follow. Just do these moves. Other person will be like, oh my god, what are you doing? Yeah. Can right. I do that? It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's great to play. I've done it before and it's so much fun to follow. It's like, I want to learn that or how do I do that? It's a simple, they're always simple moves because it's just doing it by yourself. Yeah, play around. It's always great to have an idea and be able to um, run with it or share it with others. So these are our ideas and we wanted to share them with you guys. So we're going to dance it out solo and we'll show you guys what they look like. You guys have a great day. Uh, you can rewind this, replay, whatever. Um, tag us if you want us to see your video. We'd love to see your variations. So thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.